Hello everyone, uh, it's not trading here. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd. I'll be going over my recap for today. So today I have a Green Day recap after taking uh, two loss in a row. Um, so let's get started. Um, so AKTX, uh, AKTX was uh, the, one of the gappers this morning. Uh, I was looking at this, uh, kind of missed the, the long here, but but what I saw was this uh, flag. Um, so you can see this flag here. Um, and it was kind of bouncing around here. Uh, so initially I had a short uh, around here. So you can see this cup and handle. Uh, I, I ended up starting a short there. Uh, it I covered a bit and then stopped on the rest for a quick, uh, pretty much just a break even trade, a small win, $3. Uh, and then this flag came, um, it's forming this flag, uh, bought, I bought it right there on this flag and sold on this spike and then, um, and then I stopped out during weakness. So what I need to learn is not to, uh, stop out during weakness and to hold my winners, uh, a little longer. Because what I usually do is I sell and then I just uh, sell the rest on the weakness, which uh, is it's not a bad thing, but it, in the long term I don't think I'll be seeing um, big gains from that. So I need to learn how to just stick to my stop loss. So sell half here and stick stick to my loss uh, stop loss and let it uh, trail, and potentially this can be a bigger winner. Um, so that's uh, one thing I need to learn and then you can you'll see a few examples of that um, later so this one uh, for a long ended for a $32 winner um, my next trade was ATOS so ATOS I did uh, two shorts here so the first short was um, during the spike up here. So I saw it overextending uh, and it was hitting this uh, four, $4 mark and then got rejected. So I started, uh, you can see it was like a little doji uh, follow with a high, the highest volume. So I, I started uh, short there small with my risk of higher day. Uh, I end up adding when they broke below these lows and then covering um, for uh, at 368 and then uh, covering some more at 362 um, so this I wanted to just take the short uh, and then s see if if it can retest the 5 ENA 5 uh, minute 9 EMA uh, later on uh, I saw this uh, flag so there was a flag break here um, and then I was also watching it for this other big flag that's happening. Um, so if this dip here would hold a higher low uh, to break this, uh, I think it was the 390, um, it would have probably had an explosive move. Um, but what happened, it, it ended up uh, breaking below. So I started short, um, I think when it broke below these lows here, um, I add, I started short there and then re-added and then you can see it forming a little cup and handle. Um, so when this one, this cup, uh, cup and handle here, um, went and retested these lows, uh, I went ahead and uh, downsized a bit, um, because it was retesting these highs, and my stop was above 370, uh, just above this. So it it, it didn't hit it, but I kind of chickened out and uh, downsized a bit there, um, and then I um, re-added for this uh, this break of 358. Uh, I re-added there and then I just took profits. And again, um, as you can see, um, I took profits here. So I'm good at taking profits early and onto the, the lows and highs of it, but uh, I, I always tend to stop out, uh, uh, take scared profits um, a little too soon. So, I need to practice just uh, letting 
some of that ride and just sticking to either a break even stop or you know my previous plan stop because uh, potentially you can you know gain more uh, and if you can ride the 9 EMA then you can potentially have a bigger winner and that's what I need to train myself to do um, so that these two trades here uh, end up giving me a profit of $102 um, next trade uh, Nvidia so Nvidia I uh, was kind of disappointed here I, I think I went a little bit too big of a size so the loss was a little bit bigger but I, what I saw here was this little uh, flag break uh, and it was kind of holding these uh, as support so I saw this breaking this flag and I went long there and it kind of ended up not moving at all and I ended up downsizing and stopping at the rest there and I potentially yeah stop uh, the lows there and then it it just consolidated and chop chop me out. Uh, so I end up taking a ninety eight dollar loss there. Um, and I think what I need to do here is pretty much uh, size a little uh, smaller if I'm not uh, really confident in the trade. Uh, and if I am, then I can size uh, with bigger size. Um, but this one, um, it didn't go right away. So um, another thing I can do is just get out, try to get out a small or break even, and then uh, reevaluate the pattern um, for a better setup. Uh, my next trade is TROV. So TROV had a huge gap uh, in the morning. Uh, it had this, I think this. 430 break here uh, kind of small cup and handle during pre-market um, it kind of cup and handle break and then retested and then fell but I end up uh, shorting these when they break below this low um, just a really small win and then uh, I think this was another short uh, for for another low of day um, but it ended up popping up to these highs and I ended up stopping out there um, and then I end up shorting again uh, for these lows and just taking profits uh, down there. Uh, I end up uh, kind of bouncing back towards VWAP, but um, this pretty much it was just a $10 winner. Uh, ZM Zoom. So I did uh, two short trades on this. And this because it was kind of overextended on the five minute here. So you can see it tested the five and it kind of pop up towards 74. Uh, I went ahead and try to short the the next five minute low there. So it was also creating you know, a cup and handle right here. So you can see this cup and handle. Uh, I went ahead and short there, uh, covered a half there. I think I was. I only had 100 shares um, and it just ended up covering there for the rest. I think this was like a $40 winner and then I did another short for this kind of small cup and handle break here. Uh, I went short there and then just took the rest off of VWAP. Uh, I ended up uh, take, uh, having a little bounce off VWAP and then uh, faded back down to 69s but nonetheless uh, I ended the trade there. Um, so today, um, up the total of $137. Um, there's a few lessons to be learned. I uh, need to learn how to either stop out and evaluate the situation if it's not going my way um, right away. Because what I like to see is when I get into a trade, I should be in the money um, right away. Uh, and if it's not, then it's not going as planned and I should just exit and I can always uh, re-enter uh, in a better position, right? And I don't want to hold during uh, choppiness consolidation and say, oh, okay, maybe it cracks here and then it just chops around. And then I end up making bad decision around that, that time, you know, either adding, adding more or just going bigger size, but stopping out and then just looking at it again from a fresh chart uh, would be ideal. Um, and also uh, trailing, so trailing my winners. So I'm 
I'm stopping out more from um, just just because I'm scared and I just want to take my profits early. But if I can trail, you know, like very small size just to practice, um, that can eventually in the long run improve my winners. So those two things I need to improve on, um, as you can see. So that's all I have for today. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, and if you like my content and would like to see my full adventure um, daily, then don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.